So to create a function in JavaScript, you have to first have an idea on what the function that you want. A function is always something that wraps a series of lines of code with a particular, a particular purpose in a scope or in a group of lines of code. So the scope will be delimited by the curly brackets here, by the braces. So whatever I type here will, be, will belong to this function from now on. And I would be able to reuse those lines for a particular purpose. So the purpose is always returning something. Like functions are meant to return. So if the function is add two numbers, of course, the return of the function will be the sum of both inputs. Remember that a function can receive as many inputs as you like. It could be C, D, E, F, G. Like I can add as many as I like. And I don't even have to call them like that. I could say, upu, titi, kaka. And it's the same. Like what matters is the order in which the parameters are being specified. So the first value, when the function is called, will match the first variable here. And it will be renamed, basically. Or it will be named for the first time. And the second va value will match the second parameter. So all the others are not going to be used, so I don't need them. Right now, it's telling me that I should fill inside the function the code needed to make it work like this. Let me see if it's working. It should be a function that sums. So now it is a function that sums. Before, it wasn't summing. Like if I, and if I put this in a variable total, let's say, I put it in a variable total, and I don't return that, it will not work because the, the idea is that the function returns. It's not to sum the numbers. No, it's to re return the sum of the numbers. Don't forget to return. You will forget, but it doesn't really matter because you will forget when you will remember when I when you burn for an hour trying to fix it. You will remember that I said that you shouldn't uh, forget, and you you will start remembering not to forget about return ever again. That's the classic problem for a junior, but you'll get past it. Don't worry, and you'll get past pretty fast. By the way, by doing this exercise is one of the best ways to get past.